Three, two, one. Welcome to Antimatters. Hello. Hello everyone. I'm really pleased to bring you a Weaver Ant update today. Specifically, the Polyrachis dives. In the last update, they just got their Weaver Ball, but looking back, the nest was really quiet. In the month and a half they've been away, I have a feeling they have grown a lot. The whole tank is alive with them now, and they're out and about 24-7. The workers have also bulked out a little bit, and they're slightly bigger than their predecessors. They eat loads, so I'm constantly adding new food, which is fun. They used to not escape, but we'll get to that in a bit. The tank's buzzing though, and they enjoy their weaver rope. They're currently on an all-you-can-eat diet. Sugar-wise, I've been using Blue Slushy Sugar Snaps from Antantix. I found my ants prefer snaps over my mix. So they get what they want. They're spoiled ants, okay? Along with the drinkers, I have a jelly pot. These also make a good sugar sauce. Unfortunately, these pots contain minimal protein. I believe 4%. The protein in protein jelly comes from the fact they're for feeding to your protein sources, aka live food. They're great sugar sources that last ages, which makes up for all their lackings though. Protein sources for them, I've mostly been given the roaches and crickets. Recently, I have noticed the polyrachis have been chucking their food off their platform. I decided they needed a special food bowl. These are my version 2 new bowls. Don't worry, no advert. <laughs> it stops them chucking it off though. I wish I had these smaller bowls a few months ago, but it's too late now. Quite a few bugs on the floor. They really need a quick freshen up and feed. The usual routine is to pop the lid and fire away. They're really easy to clean. They have grown though. I went in to pluck out the roaches and shit got real all of a sudden. The tumbling cotton is a fallout from the rampage on the ceiling. A few decided to do a runner today. Up until this moment they'd been so respectful but no more. I decided to pop a flu on barrier on with a method I believe Ants Midwest told me. Apply in circles. Unlike previous attempts, it worked great this time. Thanks whoever helped me. Check out the certificates too, I'm collecting them. So they're secure. I quickly pull out the scraps and the food bowl while I'm there. I've been giving four small crickets a day recently and there's nothing but a husk left when I go to remove it. The barrier is up though, food is full, water's fine and some scraps have been removed. Marvellous. I took one dead worker out but like the Rubras and Ruganodis, they seem to have plenty of dead hidden away. Before you know it they're carrying more dead bodies around, little trolls. The last thing I did was pull the tube out of the tube holder so it touched the weaver ball. I'm hoping they move in. Everything in the tank was bliss to me though. I was all ready to watch them eat. It was then though that I noticed some aggression between a few workers. Every once in a while they go completely crazy and act like a mob ganging up against a poor innocent worker. I have no idea what they are doing, but it seems to harmlessly fizzle out most of the time. Here's a more close up view, you can properly see them going at it. I'm not too worried, but it isn't too fun to watch. They proper clamp onto her barbs and spines 
And at some points, you think they're going to crunch right through your exoskeleton. They're still growing though, so obviously not killing too many workers. Let's have another look at the tube. Backlit, you can see the silhouettes of plenty of eggs and larvae and pupae. I'm going to up their feeding soon, so they 100% overflow the tube and use the board. The ball itself has all been woven and is ready to go, they just haven't moved in properly. If things continue like this, I'm sure this colony will be well epic soon though. They're easy to keep and quite robust, Touchwood. That about wraps up today's episode though. I really like these Polyrachis dives, and the Weaver Outworld has been a perfect match. As always, if anything happens, I'll update you all. Thanks for watching though, have a fabulous week, I'll see you next time and bye!